Hello everybody, my name is Calvin with Montevilla Sewing Centers, and today I'm going to be going over the Genomi Accu Assist app. Now Genomi has taken this app, uh, basically turned the instruction manual into an app form that you can interact with, and communicates a little bit with the machine in an attempt to just make all the information inside the manual a little bit easier to access and a little easier to understand. So first off, I'll go over the basic layout of the app so you can understand a little bit about how they've decided to lay this out. On the left hand side here we have our menu. This can be expanded and collapsed with this little button up here. This will expand this area and this will pull the menu over. We then have each one of these categories, machine coordination, ordinary sewing, sewing application, embroidery, and common. So any one of these can be expanded or collapsed by tapping on the gray, the gray bar. We have this main screen, which does take up the majority of the screen, and we also have the tab menu down here. Now these tabs will change depending on which uh, menu option you have selected, but they are always going to be uh, ways to access more information within a section. First off, I do want to say that Genomi has made a regular manual, and there is a way to get to it through the app. So if we come down to Common and click on Info, we're presented with this screen right here. From here, we can tap on Instruction Book, which will take us to an online page. where We can then select the Continental M17, and this will show you exactly which instruction manuals you want. So they have a bunch of different options. The two I'd mainly look at here are the Ordinary Sewing and Embroidery Manual. You can tap whatever language uh, you want. In this case, I'll go ahead and choose English, Ordinary Sewing, and this is going to be a 194 page manual that would be just like anything you'd be used to getting for a, any machine. So it's going to have a full table of contents and 194 pages of eye-oogling information. <laughs> it's, uh, yep, it's going to be relatively cut and dry, a lot, lots and lots and lots of information that they have uh, laid out, everything you do need to know about the machine. But if we go back to the app, this is going to contain pretty much all of the information you would need out of there for all of your sewing applications. So you do still have access to that, but what that's again what they've tried to do with the app is take all that information that's just really honestly boring and <laughs> laid out in a block form and take it and make it a little more interactive and a little, little bit easier to find. So coming back into here, you'll notice each one of these sections has the same basic categories. So ordinary sewing, sewing application, and embroidery all have stitch chart and info, sewing preparation, machine functions, manual stitch settings, and overview. So in each one, so stitch chart and info will pull up all of the stitches available, or in the case of embroidery, all the embroideries available for the, for the machine. And with that, what we can do is have a little bit of an interactive guide on the stitches. So for example, here on the utility stitches, I can I have these optional tabs down here, which like I said before, will give us access to more information within the section. And these just go through the different uh, types of stitches. Now if I were to go ahead and choose, say, a zigzag stitch, this is going to give me all the different options that I might want for a zigzag stitch. And what's really cool about this is it goes into detail on why I would want to use it, what type of foot I would want, and even in the case of some of these, it will give me a little bit of a demonstration as to what uh, the type of application would be for with a little photo. Now on top of that, if I tap on this stitch, I can actually send it to the machine. So when I click send, it would actually pop it right on the screen and set the machine up for this stitch. So a great way to have this nice interactive manual that works well in continuity with the machine. Now this does work with all of the stitches, so if I come into, say, this category, decorative stitches, and I like this one, I can just take that, tells me the foot to use, and I can send that to the machine. And moving on to sewing preparation. So what sewing preparation is going to tell you is all of the information in order from top to bottom what you need to do with the machine to prepare for this sewing mode. So in this case, we have ordinary sewing preparation, where you, this goes over removing and attaching the presser foot, replacing needles, selecting thread and needle, setting the bobbin thread, so on and so forth. So 
For example, if you want to do a certain stitch, the first step typically, if you don't have the right foot on, is to change the foot. So the, if we tap here, this is going to expand the menu. It shows how to remove the presser foot. Very detailed, very colorful, which I like. Um, sometimes they have these buttons that will pop up, which if you tap, will take you to a link to another part of the manual. So they have these placed a lot of the areas through the manual where if there is a piece of important information that you should know that they have somewhere else, they'll put a link to it so that you can very easily find it, which is very, very nice. Now if I keep scrolling, so this works like a regular drop-down menu, so you'll notice that it sort of dropped it down in between uh, where like this blank space would be right here, just expands. So if I tap this, it will then expand that area and shrink down the other one. And then it'll show me how to attach a presser foot. And very detailed, lots of color, lots of pictures. Um, and then again, it'll walk you down, so you just click on the next one, then the next one, then the next one, and it will get very, very clearly walk you through all the steps to set up. And next up we have machine functions. There's a lot more information in this section that I can really go over in this video, uh, but I'll break it down into sort of what it, how it's laid out. So the first main page here is going to have a basic description of uh, the different keys and selections that you have within the ordinary sewing function in this case. Same thing goes for sewing application and embroidery. I'm going to give you a good rough overview of the basic buttons and how everything's laid out. The next box over dialog is uh, going to go through a lot of the uh, more advanced functions than you would typically know about. So manual stitch settings, tapering settings, hand stitch style, how to save and open a file, function menu, so on and so forth. But this is a section I would highly encourage you just to pop into, read down from top to bottom by, again, tapping, and just really learn about the machine and everything it has to offer. So this is a really good way and a really guided way just to learn about what the machine can do. And lastly over here we have the operating buttons. This is going to give us what all the physical buttons on the machine do. So we have to start stop, reverse, auto lock, again so on and so forth. Uh, it shows you where they are and what they do. Next is the manual stitch settings. So this is a little bit of a guided overview on what all of the uh, st stitch settings you have available to you to change do. So we have the needle drop position adjustment, which is in a straight stitch, the ability to move the needle around. It shows you how to do that. Then stitch width and stitch length. Most people know about those, but it does go over how to adjust them here. The auto thread tension level adjustment. So this gives you actually a much more in-depth guide than I've seen anywhere else about how the thread tension works and how to actually adjust it and what to look for. And then goes over a few of the other uh, settings as well and how to uh, balance them. And right over here under special, we have the manual, it's gonna go over the manual stitch settings for all of these different types of stitches. These are all the stitches that you would likely have trouble with. They, they typically cause issues when if you just leave the settings the same. So this is actually going to walk you through how to adjust all of the settings to make sure that your stitches come out properly with all of these different applications. And the overview section is where they pull all the information they thought people might want to know the most about within any section. So in this case, ordinary sewing, they've pulled in the information for blind hems, shell tucks, uh, how to use the sensors, uh, sensor buttonhole and the auto buttonhole, uh, darning, tacking, just all the stuff that's a little bit beyond what most people's base knowledge is. And they wanted to bring it in here to give you a nice, easy access over it. And like you see here, we have links to actually how to do you know, various functions that they've found might be useful. Then blind hem, again, same thing. Sometimes they have these interactive um, screens that will, or these interactive videos basically that will play and show you how to do various functions. You can pause, you can go forward a step, and it can actually tell you how to do a blind hem in this case. 
So I'm not going to go over too much in detail through sewing application and embroidery just because a lot of the information is similar and they do actually repeat quite a bit of the information just so that you can e easily find stuff, the things that are important. So for example, in sewing application, if I go to machine functions and click on operating buttons, they're going to be the same operating buttons that are under the ordinary sewing uh, machine functions because the physical buttons on the machine have stayed the same between the two modes. Uh, but they did want to make the information as accessible as possible, so that includes putting it in multiple places for you to find. Um, embroidery is a little bit more, uh, there, the settings are different, but the same basic uh, sort of layout is going to be the same. So each one of the categories are the same, they're going to have the same ideas behind what information they're showing you. They really tried to make the app as, con as uh, simple to understand as possible, so I'm really just trying to walk you through understanding the basic layout of it. And now lastly, I'll come down here to the common. Uh, this is just going to be, uh, again, we talked about the info right in the beginning, so I wanted to show you how you get to that manual, uh, but this is going to give you just some basic information um, about the machine. This one will tell you what all of the different feet are for, uh, the machine settings here. This will show you all the different settings you have and walk you through the setting menu and what all of those settings do. And we have the menu icons at the bottom to walk you through that. Uh, video and image download. This is going to be all of the uh, videos and images that they have within this software they have available to download so that you can, if you find something that you really like or you want to keep, you can download it, you can print it out, you can post it somewhere, uh, and that's going to be uh, just a, so you can make your own little quick reference guides if you want. Um, then lastly, like I said, the info, this is just going to be um, all the basic information. They have some links to some other helpful places um, that does give you a basic tour, uh, which I think could be a little bit better <laughs> of the of the app. Um, and then all the you know the nitty gritty terms of use and things like that. So I hope this video was helpful for you um, and really helped you walk through and help you understand how the AccuAssist app is laid out and some of its functions. I could have gone into a lot more detail and walked through everything, but that would have made for a very long and probably very boring video. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer anything you have. Thanks and have a lovely day.